Hey guys, so today uh, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to build a an iFlag. Uh, so for this, you're going to start with the RGB matrix and driver shield. Uh, I bought mine from SunFounder. actually got it on Amazon. I'll provide links in the description for this and the um, Arduino as well as the case. Uh, this obviously Arduino made by Inland. It's uh, It uses the original schematics, so it works out. It worked very well. And the case. So the case was just a, a cheap acrylic case. Okay. There's the case built and uh, with the Arduino installed. Pretty simple, just some screws mounted up. Now we're going to take the RGB matrix and shield, install it. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. Looks good, I think. So I found this on iRacing and uh, there's a download link for the software. You just download the uh, software pack. You need to install Microsoft.NET uh, 4 framework as well as the Arduino driver. And then open this iFlag file up. It will automatically, hopefully automatically, download your iFlag software. If it doesn't, there are steps to make that work. So there it is working. Uh, this is the checkered flag. Caution. A waving caution. Uh, another caution. I believe that's for maybe road. Red flag. White flag. Yellow flag, or I'm sorry, blue flag with yellow stripe. Debris flag. The uh, DQ flag. Meatball. Uh, that is, uh, I believe, a DQ flag as well. And the green flag. So, what this is, is it will uh, give you just your flag warnings on the, on the display and then you will uh, use that to your advantage, I guess. It just it gives you a good indicator. It can be mounted all you know wherever you want. I do plan on putting mine somewhere other than uh, next to the base of my monitors, but for now that'll work. Uh, but I, I do, it seems like it's going to be a pretty useful tool. I think all in I was, I don't know, something like $30 maybe uh, for everything. So worthwhile purchase in my opinion. Very easy to put together, very easy to install the software. And uh, hopefully, maybe in the future, I will provide some videos of it in use uh, where you can actually see the uh, display uh, working. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.